Well, we were commissioned by Porim long ago when we were in University of Bangsa in Malaysia to look at uh, research on using docotrienol rich vitamin E derived from palm oil uh, in various conditions. Uh, we started off with working on tissue culture in rats in stopping damage to the liver from toxins, uh, damage to the uh, pancreas uh, to induce uh, diabetes and uh, also to prevent the damage induced in rats when we feed these rats uh, with too much fat and too much sugar they become diabetic and using various doses of uh, tocotrienol rich vitamin E derived from palm oil we could show that it is highly superior to tocopherol which doesn't, which is the common vitamin E sold in the market those days and derived from other sources. The superiority is in terms of decrease in inflammation, decrease in oxidation products and so on. In terms of uh, decreasing damage to the liver, decreasing damage to the pancreas and uh, uh, osteoporosis, bone damage, if there is not enough estrogen or inflammation to the bone. So we then proceed on to look at uh, tocotrienol uh, in diabetes. Because I'm an endocrinologist, half of my patients are diabetic and uh, it saddens me to see them after so many years being treated by me. Despite what we do, they develop eye disease, kidney disease, or heart problems and sometimes amputation. So we need to look at uh, other means rather than just giving them insulin or tablets to lower sugar or tablets to lower blood pressure. And we were encouraged by our work with uh, palm oil rich vitamin E provided by Parim those days uh, in the red. Uh, um, look at uh, low dose vitamin E with the uh, IMR on diabetic patients and show that there was some improvement in terms of control of diabetes. But uh, since coming to Manesh, we've done more work on this, whereby we uh, treated in a very scientific way a clinical trial, uh, what we call a phase two trial, where we tried uh, vitamin E to COVID at doses of two capsules a day, or equivalent to 400 milligrams a day on diabetics who have got mild, moderate eye disease or kidney disease. And we could show that within two months, there was improvement in the kidney damage compared to those who were not given the vitamin E to COVID. And by three months, the effect was even more significant. And uh, by six months, the effects on the eye was highly significant. In other words, it takes a bit longer to reduce the damage to the eye, but certainly by two months, three months, we could see reduction in damage uh, to the kidney. But most interestingly, we also found that uh, six months after stopping these high doses of vitamin E, we could see the changes were still there, the improvements were still there, and had not regressed in the eye, in the kidney, uh, uh, in these patients and we have already uh, published some of these data and in the process of publishing the rest of the data. This is because we found that the tocovid levels were still measurable up to six months after stopping it, indicating that 400 milligram a day probably was a bit too much. So we are now going to look at uh, 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 varying doses of tocovid to find out what is the optimum level without having to give too much uh, tocovid. We've also uh, done a phase three study where we look at even more diabetics, similarly with eye disease, kidney disease, and now nerve disease, because we can measure the nerve function. Uh, and in the eye, we can mesh, we can take photographs of the eye, magnify it, and see minute amounts of hemorrhage in the eye, which is more accurate than just looking at sight uh, of the eye. Uh, in this new study called the phase three study, similar doses were given, and we were very, very encouraged by the fact that within two months, 
the nerves that were damaged by diabetes could revert, could become normalized. The nerve uh, function, nerve is like a wire. So if we can stimulate one end, we can see the effect on the other end. So if you have bad diabetes for a long enough time, we stimulate this end like a wire. It doesn't, it doesn't come to this end, very small, sometimes none. And after two months of tocovid, we could show that there was already electrical impulse and the speed was also faster. So in mild diabetes, the speed is slower, but once they get the tocovid, the speed is equivalent normalized, interestingly. Yeah, in the nerves to the other hand, the nerves to the feet. Now these are very objective measurements. In other words, we measure the speed of the nerve conduction, not doing pin pricks or cotton wool or telling them you feel better. And this is scientific assessment, objective assessment. So we are very encouraged and we're going to extend the study to one year so that it makes it a truly phase three study. Uh, and we, we are confident that at one year the improvement will even be better.